Hey guys, I finally got a chance to play the Warrior Edge 18K Power Pro, the newest rendition of the Edge line from Diadem. Stay tuned if you want to hear about it. Now this paddle runs $239 retail with our pirate code here. You can get 10% off of that. But let's jump into what this paddle plays like. So the first knock on the Warrior Edge um, and the Warrior Edge 18K was the power. They didn't have enough power. They're one of the more block, best blocking paddles I've ever played with. Very, very high twist weight in the high sixes. Uh, really good at blocking. And the way that they do the sandwich material, they've got two honeycomb pieces in here that are eight millimeters thick to make a 16 millimeter paddle. So they've always done something different with layers. Their Warrior paddle had five layers of little bitty polypropylene cells. So this has two layers of polypropylene cells in here that make the cushion on the inside. But what they did differently is they wanted to increase the power. So what they wanted to do is increase the swing weight and give you a little bit more leverage with the paddle. If you look here, they've increased the handle length. So it goes from a five inch handle to a 5.75 inch handle. So you can see how much more room you have in there for the grip. Huge amounts of room for the Tui. 5.75 inch handle, you can comfortably get two hands on this paddle, not a problem. Like really good, easy comfort here. I mean, first impression playing with this paddle, like they didn't lose anything with the control with the additional power. Let's get into the performance. Let's talk about that. And I'll talk about my thoughts throughout the review. I first like to gauge a paddle by its serve and serve return to see, you know, can I get the ball deep without much effort? And right off the bat, I can see on this paddle, I'm literally hitting the back line um, right off the bat. Very first game playing with this, I'm able to paint the back of the line as you're seeing here without much effort. So it definitely can tell that this paddle has more power than its predecessors. Definitely tons of spin too. Like when this thing hits, you can see that even, even the ones I hit high have so much dip on them that they have to play them and they just kind of dive at the back line there. Really pleased. As you can see there, the serve and the serve return, phenomenal power with that. But what I was super impressed with in the first time playing with this was the spin. This is one of the top spinning paddles. This is in the 2300s. It's one of the top five paddles ever tested. So if you want a ton of spin, this is one of the paddles you would grab. And I noticed that with my serves and serve returns, just like I said in the video there, diving right to the back line, touching the back line, and we're good to go. But then let's take a look at drops. So to get into drops, that's what we want to do to get to the kitchen and get our game in the kitchen. I think third shot drop is probably the most important shop in pickleball. And you know, definitely when I'm able to do this with a paddle, get myself up to the kitchen, that's where I want to be. And I found that this paddle right off the bat, I was able to get, get it to the kitchen without shooting it too far over, able to get what I need to get out of it to make it where uh, I can get up to the kitchen and I can battle there because that's where I like to win my points. But really felt like I could just take the ball and place it wherever I wanted out there. Really can hit the, the kitchen, no problem. Get myself up there. Definitely I got Roger before he got out of the kitchen. That was great. But yeah, uh, pretty pleased with the performance here. You can still miss, obviously, like I just did there, but uh, really controllable, easy to get to the kitchen without much effort. This has a little bit less twist weight than the its predecessor, the Warrior Edge. So this 18K version here, it, it's a little bit lighter on the twist weight, meaning that like 6.35 was the twist weight of the Edge. The Edge 18K Power Pro here is like a 6.25. So still high twist weight, but I was very impressed with the size of the sweet spot. For them to give me this much surface space to use, not lose the control, but give me the extra pop, I really enjoyed this paddle. Man, the drops, the third shot drops, with top spin, able to do anything I wanted from the back line to get to the kitchen and get the battle going there. So we talked about the touch, let's look at the power. So this is what they did for this guy. Let's look at the power and the pop. When we talk about power, remember that's the full swings. When we're putting full swings into it, the pop would be counter punches or half volleys from no man's land or at the kitchen line. Let's take a look. Now this is where the paddle, I think, excels. It has more pop, good power, and really able to put the ball away with it. It's got a higher swing weight than all but the Warrior Edge. I think it's around the 120s. So really has some good throughput, really good power 
and pop. Like I felt like if they popped it up, I was able to put it away. That drive that I just hit, that was able to really dip on Dave because of the spin. So really, really good in this area. And I felt blocking. I could really easily put some pressure on them by just a little flick of the wrist or a little bit of squeeze of the hand that was able to put the ball away. Definitely after watching that, you can see that this paddle has good pop. It has a swing weight of the 120s, so it's a little bit head heavy, right? A little bit more head heavy, a little bit higher swing weight there. The weight is more towards the front, but this is what gives you the pop. But I did not feel it was too cumbersome to move my paddle around and get, get some aggressive shots at the kitchen. It's only eight ounces, so it's a perfect weight paddle. You can always add lead tape if you need to on this paddle. But games are won in the kitchen. Let's see how I did with this paddle. Let's see how I did in the kitchen battles. I think this is how I gauge paddles uh, mostly is in the kitchen. Like how can I do in my dink battles? And this paddle really does well in the kitchen. It has you know more pop than its predecessors, but this is not uncontrollable whatsoever. Like I felt like I could just reach the, pull the ball out, um, put the ball where I wanted to and uh, you know have no problems with just placing it there even and because it has extra pop and power i wasn't worried about any speed ups from the kitchen line but really able to move my opponents around whoever i was in a dink battle with i felt like i had the upper hand um, and was able to really put the ball wherever i wanted and really appreciated this paddle in the kitchen. Overall, I gotta say, I really enjoyed playing this paddle. I think it's worth the effort to put into it. This paddle runs $239. With our pirate discount, you get 10% off of that. Well, I definitely could tell with the control and the double honeycomb core feeling here, like it feels almost like a wood paddle, not quite a wood paddle, but it still feels nice to the touch. You can tell it is a Gen 2 thermoform paddle. Well, they don't call it thermoformed at Diadem, but they've been doing the sealed edges and the foam around the edges since the very get-go. That's one of the things that they started doing really early on in their paddle manufacturing. But I think they call it hot press, it's not thermoform. Definitely feels like a Gen 2 paddle. So it's not super soft, but it's softer than some of the Gen 2 paddles in the feel, meaning that the ball feels pretty crisp, coming off of here, it doesn't feel plush and mushy, if that makes sense, right? Plush and mushy would be like the Carbon 1, Gen, Gen 1 paddles. Any of the Thermoform Gen 2 paddles feel a little bit crispier coming off the face. And with the spin and the pop, I think this paddle's a winner and definitely worth it if you like the Diadem brand and with the spin. Like being a top spinning paddle man, you cannot uh, beat that when it comes to the 2300 RPMs. That's a really, really high spin rate for the paddles that are up there. Thanks Diadem for sending us this paddle. So we we could review it and thank you for those of you that are using our code it helps us keep the lights on it helps us keep bringing you these reviews so you can make informed decisions on your paddle purchase but if you don't like diadem or you want to try a different brand you can check these reviews out here yeah they're good paddles too